pretty confident. I've been here for the last day and a half uh, doing some test jumps and you know all those jumps have gone well and what we expected to happen out of those jumps has pretty much happened so I'm confident that we can adjust the helicopter and my flight position to do exactly what it is I need to do. But danger's relative isn't it? I mean is, is a, a mum driving in a car on the school run with a mate in the car chatting away, the phone rings, kids in the back shouting, what's more dangerous, you know? So it's, uh, it's such a relative thing. I'll let you know if this was dangerous afterwards. My suit, you know, if I stand like this, I kind of look a bit like a flying squirrel. I've got air intakes, so the suit is double skinned. Um, what happens is the suit inflates and it allows me to glide. I can't fly, I can't go up, but I can glide, so I've got a, a constant glide angle and, it allow, and I can adjust that glide angle as well, so it's kind of like a magic carpet. I mean, totally confident. I, you know, if I wasn't confident with what I'm doing, I wouldn't be doing it, so I work in TV and film doing stunts and I've crashed into boxes, fallen into boxes, whatever, you know. I'm gonna say a thousand times, it's not that many, but I've done it enough to know, know what happens. You know, if I didn't feel scared, then there would be a problem. Um, paranoia, I think for something like this, is a great state of mind. It keeps me focused, it keeps me aware of what I'm doing, I'm in the zone, you know, you're so in the moment with it. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be scared, I don't deny that, but as soon as I've made that choice to go off the edge, then you're in a completely different space, and that's a wonderful space to find yourself in.